Hey there! In this video, you're going to learn two versions of Edelweiss, and I'll let you pick which one seems best for you. We'll start with the easier version, and then move on to the more complex version, or at least with a few more bells and whistles. Here's what we're aiming at. Edelweiss, Edelweiss. Okay, so that's the chorus of the tune, and it repeats over and over, verse, and then the chorus. We're going to start there. Now, I'm doing a very simple version with a simple strum. It's a three-quarter song. That means there's three pulses to the strum. So the basic strum is going to be down, down, up, down, up. Not too hard, huh? Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. I'll do a little more complex version after this, but let's start with this version. And this may be as far as you want to go also. Let's go through the chords now. The first line uses a G, and I'm using my three-finger G with the pinky. Any G will work. As a matter of fact, I could easily go with a four-finger G. I kind of like that sound right there. It's going to a D from here, so I'm looking for a version of G that goes well with D. In other words, it moves smoothly. And either of those would work just fine. This one would work too, but it's a little more movement. You'll notice I have to also move my third finger. So let's start off with a four finger G or the third finger, three finger with a pinky, to a D. And I'm making the D a simple folk D with the first finger and second finger on the second frets and the third finger in between on the second string third fret. So the first part is one strum. Da, da, da. And then one strum for the D. Then back to G. Da, da. From here, we're going to a C. So I'm going to use a folk style C. And that means moving some of my fingers around. If I do the three finger G, that's actually a smoother move. I think I'll go with that. So third finger on the fifth string, fourth string, and then second string here. That's the third fret, second fret on the second finger, and first fret on the first finger. So that much again. Edelweiss, that's each one bar. Edelweiss, two, three. And then for the second line, we got to get back to G. Okay, for the second line, we're going to use a very common pattern in music. G to E minor to C and to D7. This whole song's made of just that pattern, those chords in the circling pattern. The more my love, my darling, I've a oh, I digress a little bit. <laughs> so, one bar in this case for each of those chords. G, E minor, to the C, and D7. For the D7, notice I leave my first finger there and just lift up my second and third fingers and put the second finger on the second fret of the third string and third finger on the second fret of the first string. So it's a fairly easy transition. From the G, as long as I'm using the pinky G, Going to the E minor, I leave my second finger there and switch the third finger to the fourth string second fret. That brings me to E minor. Now for the C, I'm going to move this finger over the second finger and move the third finger over back to the fifth string. First finger goes down on the first fret of the second string. And again for that D7, I leave the first finger there and switch the two fingers, second and third fingers, over to the third and second string. So one strum each. To the E minor, to the C. Notice I keep my fingers close to the strings, to D7. Okay, so we've got half the chorus. Let's just review that much. Da, 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 to the C. Now we'll do that turnaround. That's what we call that pattern. G to E minor, to C, and D7. Now we're going to kind of repeat that first part. Two and one. Da, da, da. Same pattern as the first line. Now that last line is a little bit different. We're only using G and D. Watch. Da, 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 da. 
one D and then two G. Da, da, and that finishes up the chorus. So that last line kind of makes you feel like it's the end of something and it's ready to move on to the verse. So the whole chorus, and you can try it along with me. Don't worry about the strum for now. Just maybe keep track by just strumming straight down. Just kind of map out the chords. We're starting from G. Here we go. G to D. Back to G, going to C now. G, turn around pattern to E minor, to C, D7. Back to G, G, same as the beginning. D, G, going to C, C. Now the ending, G to D, G to D. And back to G, two Gs now, G. Okay, let's start the verse now. We're going to start the verse with a D chord, and it's going to hold there for a minute. Na, da, 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 da. Now the G, that was two bars. Da, two bars of G. Na. Not too hard, huh? Okay, let's start the verse now. We're going to start with two bars of D, and then two bars of G. Na, da, 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 to G. G, G. Here's a new chord, A7. And again, from this version of G, it's very easy to switch. I'm taking my second finger over to the fourth string second fret. Can you tell what chord you're going to? Third finger over to the second string second fret. That's an A7. Oh, <laughs> that's an A7. <laughs> I got a little creative there. Okay, new chord, A7. From the G to the A7, move over. And you want to get to where they kind of go together at the same time, right? But take it, take it a step at a time. So then we end that second line with a D chord. So let's go ahead and go through those first two lines of the verse, starting on the D. Da, da, two bars, and going to G. B, G, G. Here comes the A7. Two bars, da, da. Ending on D, two bars, da. Nice even two bars every chord. Okay, we're gonna end the second line with a D chord. So let's go through the first two lines of the verse. It's very even. Every chord gets exactly two bars and you'll, you'll feel the evenness of the chord progression. Na, that's one bar. Da, 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 to G. Da, da, da. Now to that A7, two bars. Da, 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 back to D. Notice the transition from the A7 I just slid my third finger up to the third fret of the second string and then put the other two fingers down. It makes a nice, smooth chord change. Now the last two lines are very much like the chorus. Listen for a minute. Edelweiss. It's the last two lines of the verse. Edelweiss. The last line on D, D, G, and two bars of G, G. Kind of very... It's exact repeat of the chord progression of the chorus, just a slight change in words at the end. Bless my homeland forever. Okay, the whole verse. Let's run through it one time. And I'll call out the chords as we go. So go ahead and play along with me. And again, just go for the chord changes. Don't worry about the strumming for now. D, two bars, D, D. And going to G now, two bars. G, G, G. A7, D7. Going to D to D. Third line, G. D, D, D. G, G, C. Now G. Going to D, D. And two bars of G, G, G. That's the whole song. And when you add a little strum, it sounds great. Now, what I'm going to do is play the song all the way through, fairly slow, so you can try it along with me. And you can always go back and try it again and again. But before I do that, I want to show you one little addition, totally optional. Instead of using a strum pattern with a pick, you can use your fingers. And it sounds really good with this song. I'm going to use a very standard arpeggio pattern. That means broken up chord. Listen. I'm doing. 
It's a standard pattern over and over. The difference in each of the chords is the bass note. So you want to, first of all, get the basic pattern and then adapt it to each chord. We'll start with a G chord. The bass note is with my thumb on the G and I'm putting my first, second, and third fingers of the right hand on the third string, second string, and first string. So start, you can try this with me, start like this. Thumb on the bass note and the first, second, and third on the top three strings of the guitar. And I'm gonna use the top three strings every time. You don't really have to, you could vary it. But for consistency, it's easier to get used to hitting the same strings over. Then you can always vary it as you get comfortable. So let's go ahead and try it on the G chord. I'm gonna call out the strings that I'm plucking. That's a way to get the pattern basically. In this case, it's gonna be six, talking about six string, three, two, one, two, three. That's the order that you pluck the strings. So the thumb goes on the sixth string and the first finger is gonna stay on that third string and so on. So it, the pattern is six, three, two, one, two, three. Beat wise, it would be one and two and three and. It takes up the same three beats as a strum. Two and three and one, two and three and. So try it with me. G chord, just for this, make any G you want. Thumb on the sixth string. Plant the first, second, and third fingers on the top three strings. Here we go. I'll call it the number. Six, three, two, one, two, three. Again, six, three, two, one, two, three. Again, six, three, two, one, two, three. Now, you wanna make sure you don't pop your hand out because when you do that, it takes a little extra time to get back to the strings and that can mess you up and it's a bad habit. So try to just keep your hands close. They don't have to be stuck on the strings, but try not to yank them out either. And pull your fingers into your palm as opposed to yanking or clutching. You wanna try to stay relaxed. That's so you can play smooth and fast. If you're clutching and tensing, it'll, it'll sound like it, plus it'll make it slower and slow you down. Now let's go on to the D chord. The D chord's gonna use a different bass note, thumb on the fourth string, and we're gonna hit that open fourth string. That's a D. And you're gonna put your first, second, and third fingers of the right hand on the first, second, and third string. Same place, exactly. And same pattern. But now it's four, three, two, one, two, three. Four, three, two, one, two, three. Okay, let's do that together. Go ahead and put your thumb on the fourth string, your fingers down, Make a D chord, of course. <laughs> Should have started there. And let's do it together. I'll call out the string numbers. Ready? Four, three, two, one, and then two, three. Again. Four, three, two, one, two, three. One more time. Four, three, two, one, two, three. So, a couple more chords. We have the C chord, which comes up a few times. That's gonna be on the fifth string. So go ahead and make your C chord with me. Put your thumb on the fifth string, fingers on strings one, two, and three. Again, same place. And I'll call it the string number. It's gonna be five, three, two, one, two, three. Let's do it together. Ready, go. Five, three, two, one, two, three. Five, three, two, one, two, three. Then there's that A7 chord. The bass note is on the fifth string and it's gonna be five, three, two, one, two, three. Try it with me, make your A7. I'm making with the second, third fingers here. That's cause uh, easy switch from G that way. Ready, go. Start with five, three, two, one, two, three. One more time. Five, three, two, one, two, three. And I think that's it. The D7, of course, is just like the D. It starts on the fourth string bass note. Mm. Okay, let's go ahead and play through the whole tune one time. I want you to strum along or finger pick. So there's three choices here. You can just go down just to get the chord changes. So you're not gonna do a, any kind of strum really, just straight down to hear the chords as I play along. And you could also, number two, add the full strum, which is gonna sound like down, down, up, down, up. Again, three beats, one, two, and three, and. And then finally, there's the finger picking pattern, which will sound like this. And it'll also be in time, one, two, three. So as I'm strumming, one, two, 
three, you're finger picking one. Two, three, one, two, three. Okay, get your hands ready on the first chord. It's gonna be a G chord and we're gonna do it. Okay, so go ahead and get your left hand on the G chord. That's how we're gonna start. I'm gonna start you off with a count of three. In the meantime, put your fingers on the strings if you're gonna do finger picking, or if you're getting ready with a pick, have your pick ready. You could also just strum down with your thumb. That could be number one. So here we go. I'll give you a count of three. One, ready, start. Good job. That was fun. Thanks for joining me. I look forward to seeing you again soon, hopefully. Bye for now.